this is a very, I'm just going to go, you'll see how I do my whole assessment, but sculpture is a very hard concept for people to get. Who feels like they're still confused about what is sculpture? Do you have, a, who said, who's like, is it filler? Is it a biostimulator? Is it a neurotoxin? If you think it's a neurotoxin, you may have to talk a little bit more. But there's a lot of patients that come in, they're like, what is this thing called sculpture? It's PLLA. What is PLLA? If we get very technical, it is a biostimulator. It's not a gel-like substance like dermal fillers. All of our dermal, not all of our dermal fillers, most of them are hyaluronic acid, which we naturally make in our body. How I describe it, because you can, I can talk about the science and the inflammatory response and amazing and blah, 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 but when you're talking to patients, you need to just know it on a simplistic level so you can regurgitate it so they can understand. So I just say PLLA are collagen seeds. Are they really collagen seeds? I don't know. It's collagen powder <laughs> that you reconstitute with sterile water, and then you inject it into the face, and it stimulates your own natural collagen. So if you can have a spiel that's about, I say it's your elevator pitch for all of your products that you do, I think sculpture is one of my hardest elevator pitches to mm -hmm. get done in 30 seconds. Yeah. Do you have the yeah. same? Yeah, yeah, for issue? sure. Yeah, yeah. It's not something that you can just do like in a minute and yeah. call it. How do you explain it? Um, when I, so my approach to my patient, I always like my consultations, I first start with the aging process. The aging process book, it says it all. It starts from skin, um, fit a fat pad, muscles, and bone structure. And I think these are the four main elements of anyone's facial structure, and um, this is how you can explain to your patient. Um, I would love to, let me ask, um, regarding the uh, aging process book, the is last it, page of the I sculpture book is bone. To me, bone is the foundation of anything. Like, if you want to build a beautiful house, what does it, what matters the most is the structure. When the house is old, is the structure that is falling apart. So your structure is something that not many people talks about it. And your bone, especially with females, you're in menopause, premenopause, we lose almost 30% of our bone structure. And the reason I, I do my injection very deep, I learn my sculpture from Dr. Shino Aguilera, and he's the one and I mean the grandfather of this yes. whole biostimulator. So my question, just my sincere question from everyone and anyone who can answer this, what can you offer to your patient to help them maintain this beautiful mandible and their chin and their zygomatic bone? What do you think that could be? No, basically nothing, really. Like the best is like telling them like take like a uh, calcium supplement. Mm -hmm. Other than that, is there anything you can do? And think about like someone old in your family when there are like, you know, when they were young, they were tall, and then now that they're in their late eighties, I mean, they're they're shorter, they're shrinking, yeah. they're shrinking. And even with the plastic surgeon, if they want to do a facelift, but if the patient doesn't have a chin, they have to do a chin implant because they don't have that support. The simple example I use for my patient is: you have a tablecloth, and if I put that tablecloth and this table, because it has surface, it's going to support it. But the same tablecloth, if I put it on a smaller table, everything's going to be hanging. So you see how important it is to maintain your patient structural support? You can give them volume. You can give them collagen. But if the support is becoming smaller and smaller and uh, female especially, they lose so much bone. And we have smaller bone to begin with compared to male patient. How can you educate your patient and how can you help your patient long term? To maintain their structural support, biostimulator. Yeah, and I think Dr. Shino Bay ten years ago they were like ha 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 laughing at him, and now he's proven through all these before after pictures that his seventy five year old patient looks so much better, but still maintaining a beautiful bone support. And to me, um, when I talk about this with my patient to educate them. I'm like, this is what you want to preserve. This is something that I cannot give you any minute. You want to preserve it. And I always start everyone at the age of 45 to late 40, exactly during menopause, pre-menopause, sculptural, sculptural, that I'm going to help you to preserve this. Because we, we may not even have a strong bone to begin with. 
like our mandible, or our zygomatic bone. So just, I mean, I never had a zygomatic bone yeah. to begin with. So, <laughs> you know, anything that I can do to maintain this bone structure, that's how I educate my patient because to me, yes, skin quality is super important, but what choice do we have that we can offer to our patient to maintain their bone structure? Because this is everything. This is what everything, any female male could benefit from, a nice bone support. Yep. And so that's the difference we'll talk about when we're actually injecting the depth of injections. We'll, in, um, I guess, if you want to work on bone, you're going to go deeper, periosteum. If you want to do more collagen rejuvenation to the skin or the dermis, we're going to go a little bit more sub -Q. The only thing that I think all injectors can say, uniform, don't go in the muscle, don't go in the dermis, like you're doing a TB, you don't want to see the gray of your needle. So I start usually all of my patients, I love like my sweet spots, like 30 to 35. I'm like everybody by the age of 40, you should be on at least one or two um, vials of Sculptra. Because do you guys know the statistic? By the age of 30, we lose, does anybody know? 1%. 1%. So 1% of collagen each year. So by the age of 45, who can do the math? <laughs> About 25% of collagen. It's significant in your dermis. So that's why we can go back and forth of, you can do you can do a lot of vials of Sculptra in different planes, in different techniques to get a beautiful result for patients. And this, my Sculptra is one of my favorites for young. When they come in, I'm like, I do not want to give you cheek filler. I do not want to put dermal filler in your face, but you're 30, you're 31. We can do some Sculptra. We can start to tighten the skin. Or, you ever have your patients where you're like, we have done so much filler on you. I don't know what else to do. You want to do something and it's not wrong. Let's start working on your dermis or let's start uh, to build up the chin or something with something else than dermal filler or hyaluronic acid. 